Yeah, I'm freaking out. <laughs> What's the unboxing? What it be? Well, I don't know. Shut up and see. Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. So over the years, I have gradually shifted from taking risks with publishers to focusing on collecting certain authors. Fricassi is chief among them. I feel like I got in the ground floor with Philip Fricassi when I got Boys in the Valley, the arc from Earthling, and it's been a rocket ship blast since then. And I've read, I don't know, eight books by the guy, and all of them are awesome. So when he was having a Kickstarter, I kicked in, and that stuff just showed up today. And I also jumped on a deal. It's a deal that you, there's, there's some things that come along that you just can't say no to. Let's just say there's a book that's going bonkers on the secondary and you like, now that book is out of reach. And if you get the chance to buy that book at the published price, it's kind of something you can't turn your back on. And so it's all fracassi related. I'm going to get into it. I'm going to show it to you. If you've supported the Kickstarter for the Boys in the Valley book tour, uh, I'm sure you're opening your own little boxes of joy right now. And if you're a Patreon supporter, you're also getting something in the mail from Philip Fricassi. So that's two for in one box and then another one in another box. But let's just, let's just jump in. First one I'm going to open is from the man himself. And if you support him on Patreon, if you're a Sabbath resident, you got a very sweet package in the mail. Oh, man. Yeah, I'm jealous. I'm jealous. Because while I have shifted my collecting from publishers taking calculated risks with publishers, trust me, these, ri these, these risks I've taken with publishers are very, um, very small risks. Essentially, I'm trusting Jared and Brian James Freeman and Paul Suntup to vet the titles that I will want to read. And by and large, they, they always come through for me. They always pick titles that I think are going to be amazing. And then they are. Except for, you know, if they do a Billy Chismar book. But while I have shifted my collecting to focus on certain authors, I'm still not a completist. A completist would be insane. If, if you're somebody who has to have the lettered, numbered, arc, artist edition, whatever it is from the author, then I, I light a candle and pray for you because that is a very terrible, terrifying mission. And, it, and, and a completist is somebody who has to stalk the secondary. And I don't. But anyway, here we go. This is the Kickstarter and the Patreon. And it's wrapped and wrapped and wrapped. And oh, let's start with the Patreon. So that is... Philip Fricassi chapbook. Boom. There it is. Here we go. Look at that. That's the Patreon exclusive signed book plate 2024. And then I think my treehouse is haunted chapbook. There's the cover and that's the back cover. There's the cover. I, I do like having um, the art stand for itself. The cover artwork by Dave Dick right there. There are, there are interior pieces, Pori Hemplo, and it's very cool. <laughs> this is a beautifully made chapbook. Comparable to something Levidian would put out, um, this is Alter. This is Philip Fricassi's own imprint. I have number 107 signed by Philip right there. You got a colophon. This chapbook has been published for Alter Publishing in an edition of 250 copies. Each copy has been signed and numbered by the author. Number 107. Boom! <laughs> yes! I can't wait to read it. It's going to be good. You know it's going to be good. Because the thing that gives... Now, if you don't know if a book's going to be good or not, what you do is you look for those two words. If they're right next to each other, where the author's name's going to be, it's going to be a great book. So that's, a, that's, a, that's an indication. If you're out in the wild hunting good reads and you see those two words right next to each other, that's a name. All right. Now, the other thing is two screenplays. 
So this is the Boys in the Valley screenplay, which if you didn't know, that's how Boys in the Valley began life. It was a screenplay that Philip was trying to sell to, to become a movie. So a screenplay is like a little egg that hatches into a movie. If a director loves a producer enough, then it becomes a movie. The art here is Luke Spooner. You may be familiar with his work in another Fricasse book, The Boy with the Blue Rose Heart, which I have on my shelf. And Luke Spooner did a kick-ass job on that, but he brought it here as well. So this is The Boys in the Valley screenplay. And then the other half is the Gothic screenplay. I'm not certain that Gothic was first conceived as a screenplay the same way Boys in the Valley came to be. But the great thing about this uh, volume is that there are notes, introductions to both stories. And I'm sure the answer to my question is within these pages. And I'm going to just hold that to myself and I'm going to discover it for myself by myself. So i um, very happy to have it. And this one here, number 109, signed by Philip Fricasse as well. So another Philip Fricasse signature. I'm, I'm growing into two shelves of signatures. And the fun thing about this is that I get to shelf this right between Gothic and Boys in the Valley. This box had the little special deal, the special deal where I can be getting a book for far below secondary market values, a book that's long out of print, a rare thing for me, certainly. I just don't play those games. I don't know. It, it, to me, it feels like if you're paying secondary market values, this doesn't feel right. It's just my thing, you know? I bought this right from the publisher Strange Eons. This is a Fricasse title I already have, but I just totally passed on the hardcover for no reason at all. I could have gotten this, and I didn't, and I've just always regretted it. <laughs> Look at Philip there in his author photo. Um, this is a great read. If you've ever, if you've never, if you, you should, let me just say that. If you've never or ever, then you should, because this is a, a, a really fun read, very comparable to Stephen King. Here it is, the hardcover. Now, I think these were PC copies because they had like little defects little printing or um, binding defects and he just couldn't sell them as at full at full price at the time but come on you know that that really does not bother me does not bother me so came with a bookmark the philip fricasse commodore bookmark and signed by both philip and brian uh vox who did the illustrations. Damn. This is limited to 77. I didn't realize that limitation was so low. But of course, PC numbers fall outside the 77 limitation. So I'm, I'm a little bit on the outside, but damn. Um, so cool. Uh, beautiful book. And like I said, I already read it and I thought it's amazing. It made me want a full novel set in Sabbath. And I think Philip has it. And I want him to bring it because everybody loves those, those towns, those haunted town stories. Derry, Stephen King has Derry. Um, Thomas Olde Hoovelt, uh had Black Springs. I might be messing that up from Hex. Goblin with Josh Mallerman and so on. They all have these towns, man. I want, want, I want to visit Sabbath. I want to spend some time there. But the the publisher who said hey i have these books and i have a couple you know they're pc copies they're sitting around i'll sell them to you but i might throw in some other stuff too and he did what did he throw in <laughs> he threw in let me see what this is pretty wild the ballad of eric zahn love is infernal what is that Oh, oh, I actually thought it was a 45. This is a book. Oh, and it's signed. The Ballad of Eric Zahn by K.L. Young. That's pretty damn wild. That is so cool. 
uh, and it, it's a, I love the concept, packing it like it's a 45 in a um, record sleeve. Very cool. And then this other one, Infernal Combustion by K.L. Young. Oh, oh, okay, so this is the publisher. With these book, these bookmarks just fell out, so I had to pick them up. It's very cool. So, The Secret Language of Spiders by K.L. Young. Very cool, and that's neat art, man. Look at that. Look at that, man. It's like Japanese anime art style, holographic sticker, and then Strange Eon sticker. So uh, you don't know this, but I have a big metal tank desk from the 50s. That's that's what I broadcast from, my big broadcast. So I like to put, I'm going to put stickers on it. I think it's time. I just put stickers all over this baby. I got a lot of magnets on it right now, but. It's just like begging. It's like, stick me. Stick me. Infernal combustion. <laughs> cool little chapbook. Nice little read. to get to check out a new author. And also, yes, signed by Kalyan. Very cool, man. Very, very cool. Happy to see it and check it out. So that was a lot of fun unfortunately those hardcover commodores are done they're gone those few copies he had remaining were scooped up pretty fast um and the patreon stuff and the kickstarter stuff i think you could still buy that through the altar publishing website i'll link to that in the description so you can jump on there and get the two screenplays or the the chappy built for Cassie chapbook um, so you can have your own joyful little unboxing in, you, in your own home with your fingers. But that's it for me for now. Um, I got to I gotta get going. I got to take care of the little Poe, the little Poe puppy with uh, lots of sleeplessness. It's kind of what, it's kind of the, the score right now. So I'm going to go do that. You do your stuff too, and then we'll meet back when, when it's back to doing our stuff. Thank you for joining me this time, and I hope to see you again next time. In, in the meantime, stay frosty.